just lay down here, please? So since we're already through the first week of August, I thought I would just do current favorites instead of July favorites or something. So I'm gonna tell you things I've been loving. Uh, I've been loving my Smarty Pants Organics Women's Formula. These are vegetarian gummy vitamins. Uh, I need to take them right now, actually. They taste very delicious. I take four of them every day. Um, and they're great. I think they've been great for growing my hair out. I feel like I have energy. We've got probiotics, vitamin D3, B12 for energy, zinc for immunity. Um, I get those from Sprouts, but I actually reordered this one on Amazon. So, highly recommend it if you guys are looking for a women's multivitamin that's a gummy. A favorite that I have not actually spoken about on my channel, I'm going to do a little self-plug, shameless, obviously. Um, is my new song Audrey. I mean, I don't know if it's new anymore. It came out about a month, two months ago, but uh, it is the most recent original song that I have put out, and it's available on Spotify, iTunes, Tidal, everywhere you can think of. I shot the single cover myself and did all the graphic design and editing. Um, I wrote all the lyrics myself, the melody. I'm really, really proud of it, and it's about disillusionment. It's the story of young women moving to LA from, from the, my, the writer's point of view, and realizing that uh, it's not all beautiful, it's not all Hollywood glamour. You don't just move to LA and suddenly become a star. You're gonna meet a lot of sharks along the way, and it's just sort of about that realization of, oh my gosh, I'm. I'm a little bit in over my head and I just I just wanted to be Audrey. I just wanted to move to LA and be like Audrey Hepburn. Yeah, it's kind of a melancholy song. I, I wrote it three years ago, but I'm so proud of it. I remember being in the session recording the vocals and I could not get through it sometimes, but I it felt so good. It felt like I was, I wrote something that really expressed exactly how I felt at that moment. It created this world that that was exactly how I felt. Yeah, so at the end of the song, there's a little a little clip where you can hear me recording vocals um, and I can't get through what I'm singing. So that's at the end of the song. Really proud of it. I'm really excited that it's out and I would love for you guys to take a listen and let me know what you think. Next is uh, we're gonna do two makeup products that I've been loving. Um, both are by L'Oreal actually. So both I'm wearing today. I am wearing the L'Oreal Paris True Match Lumi Glotion in Medium Glow. So this is basically just um, an illuminating lotion that you can put on under your makeup. You can use it in place of makeup. It doesn't really have much coverage, I guess, but it makes my skin look really good. It's not silicone -y or anything like that. It's not made to blur any imperfections, but for me, it kind of does that. I don't have any highlighter on or anything luminous. Everything is matte, and I think it gives my skin uh, some light without looking oily because I do love to look glowy, but if I use glowy products and a lot of oils, my skin just looks greasy, and I don't like that. So that's great. And then also, uh, the mascara that I've been loving is one that I actually found on TikTok. It's the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. So it does look kind of just like the Too Faced Better Than Sex, which is not one that I'm crazy about. And the wand is kind of similar to Too Faced as well. But I love it. It makes my lashes just as long as my old favorite Essence Lash Princess Mascara. But that one it will literally run so easily. If I am like sweating a little bit or my skin is a little bit oily, I've got that dark under eye thing with Lash Princess. Um, really not a fan of that. Also, I have the windows open letting some fresh air in, so I hope you don't mind. I hope it's not too loud. Um, but yeah, Voluminous Lash Paradise, love it. And my lashes are finally long again after about six months without lash extensions. I feel like my lashes are finally healthy again. It was very stressful getting them off and realizing my lashes were weak and short. I'm gonna shut the window because I think it's probably kind of loud. All right, it's good timing that I did that because the baby started crying just as I shut the window. So uh, next, let's talk about fragrance. Uh, over the recent months, I have been loving this Coach. Uh, this is the Signature Eau de Parfum, I believe, and it is just so good. It's so fresh. I originally bought this in a small haul. It's on my channel uh, because I, I know that I had a little solid version of this in high school. And so I just wanted something that would take me back 
in time. You know how fragrance can be so nostalgic. And uh, I ended up loving this. I smelled it originally and I was like, oh, this is not something I'd normally wear. It's pretty floral. But I don't know. It's just a lovely, bubbly, optimistic white floral that does not give me a headache. And it is wonderful to wear around the house. Uh, in the morning if I wake up early I don't mind this is one of the very few perfumes that I feel okay wearing in the early morning it's not too much and it makes me feel really clean as well so that's the coach signature perfume it's technically discontinued but they do sell it online and then I am just I mean this has been a favorite for a while but I haven't owned it Michael Kors Wonderlust uh, this was sent to me by an amazing uh, Instagram follower to my P.O. box. I'll leave my P.O. box address below, by the way. But uh, he apparently knew that this was on my wish list. My birthday's coming up on the 19th, and he sent me this as a as a gift. And I'm just so thankful because this perfume is so wonderful. And I'm doing a no spend August, and maybe a no spend September, and maybe a no spend for a long time because I'm trying to get my money right. So. Uh, I wasn't gonna buy this for myself anytime soon so thank you so much Julian for this it's I love this fragrance it's amazing all right uh, candles uh, we have the candles and teas candles that I showed in my uh, making my apartment more cozy video I love them I've used up I think two or three already this is Pacific Ocean all of them are great I think Yosemite was my favorite that was like the most warm uh, homey homey fragrance but yeah I absolutely love these candles candlesandteas.com and then Trader Joe's came out with a mango tangerine candle and it's really nice in the living room uh, or like in early in the morning when I'm I want to work and feel a little bit optimistic and energized this is really really bright it reminds me of like Bath and Body Works fruity candles yeah it's just really cheery um, I love that, so go Trader Joe's. Another thing I've been loving is this Lululemon headband, and it's called the Fringe Fighter or something like that. It's a thicker headband, it's reversible, but I mostly got it just for the black. But having bangs, if I wear thin little workout headbands, they slide off my head, they don't keep my bangs back, and my bangs kind of, they go like this and then like that, and it just, yeah, doesn't look good. So this keeps all of them back and up, and is wonderful for hiking, home workouts, or even when I just really need to work and keep my bangs out of my face. I love it. I love this. They have different patterns and everything, but I just wanted something neutral that wouldn't get too dirty with makeup and sweat and stuff. Right now, I am drinking a decaf chai. Oh, it's so good. So I'll just insert a picture because it's in the fridge and I'm being lazy. But uh, I have been using the Tazo decaf chai mix. I do half of silk soy milk or whatever soy milk I have in the fridge really um, and half of the chai mix and it's wonderful. It's a wonderful alternative to having coffee in the morning because I'm off the caffeine now. Sometimes I have decaf if I'm buying coffee out but I need to not buy coffee out anymore. But anyway, I make my chai almost every day. It's easy if you want to ice it um, but you can do it with any kind of milk. I wouldn't suggest doing it with almond milk. For me it's not creamy enough and it tasted really bitter and sour. So, uh, and the, the milk wasn't bad. So, if you're looking for a decaf little drink um, and you wanna save some money on buying things out, it's, it's wonderful. Just, uh, it's a nice alternative to having any other caffeinated beverage in the morning. All right, so we are all watching TV shows, okay? I don't care what you say. We're all looking for new things to watch and to help us dissociate for a little while. So I have three TV show recommendations for you. So the first one is Casa de las Flores, which is a Netflix show. It's a Mexican Netflix show, uh, otherwise known as House of Flowers. It is advertised that way also on Netflix. I believe they do have uh, English dub. They definitely have a bunch of different subtitles, but I have been watching that as part of my Spanish studying. I watch it in Spanish with Spanish subtitles. So that way I'm practicing my Spanish reading uh, and I can, sometimes if I don't understand a word, I read it and I'm like, oh, I know what that word is. I just didn't understand. So it helps practice listening skills, conversations within a context, which you'd be surprised. I mean, it's really easy to understand if you're studying a language and you watch a show, those context clues, you'll be so surprised what you can understand. So, so it's also an incredible show. It's, 
I would recommend it to like everybody. I mean, the characters are are real. It's not really a parody. It definitely pokes fun at the the storylines of novelas like um there's a maid who sees everything and there are affairs and you know, blah, 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 and lots of good looking people, but it's real. That's what I think is so special. It's like if you took a telenovela and all of the stuff that happened had real reactions. So yeah, somebody definitely gets smacked in the face, but how are people gonna react in real life if someone gets smacked in the face? Plus it's set in Mexico City, it's beautiful, that's where my dad's from, so I feel, you know, it's kind of cool getting to see the city. There's a lot of amazing LGBTQ empowerment on there. The show has made me sob on multiple occasions. It's it's a beautiful, hilarious celebration of the messiness of life. I just loved that show. Oh my gosh, and it's over. So, but uh, yeah, you need to watch that for sure. Another one is another Netflix show and it's called Ragnarok. Ragnarok, right? I'm trying to say it like a Norwegian. Ragnarok. Ragnarok. It's on Netflix. It has nothing to do with Thor Ragnarok, but uh, Ragnarok was the, the Norse god, sort of the end of the world. So if you like Thor or if you like Norse mythology, you don't have to like the Marvel Thor, and if you like mythology of any kind, this show is awesome. Plus, uh, I found out about it because I used to watch Scam, which is that Norwegian show of, like about teens, and one of the actors in the show is now in Ragnarok. So if you're into sort of teen drama. I can't even say that because I don't like teen drama. Like I don't watch Riverdale. I wasn't into Vampire Diaries. Um, I guess it's only teen because the characters are in high school, but it's an awesome show. It takes place in modern day Norway, but there's so much Norse mythology. Basically, we get the idea that uh, gods and giants of the Norse mythology days are not extinct as we may have thought so yeah if you're into thor and loki they're definitely present in the show and if you're just into beautiful norwegian people that's also in the show it's got great music the the setting is amazing it was totally like an escape just the mountains and the trees and it's just Oh my god, it was stunning. The show is amazing. I've already got my other friend hooked on it. You have to watch it. Ragnarok on Netflix. And the last show is on Amazon Prime and it's called The Night Manager. It's a six episode series starring Tom Hiddleston. He is not aware, but we are, um, well, we're, we're engaged to be married. Uh, but yeah, speaking of Loki, um, I watched it only for Tom Hiddleston. I want to say it came out about five years ago, and I watched it. I watched three episodes on cable TV when I had cable, and uh, I and then I didn't keep up with it. That's my problem with cable. I don't even have cable anymore. So it's an amazing show. It's uh, it stars Tom Hiddleston, but it's got Olivia Coleman, Hugh Laurie, um, and it's sort of about Tom Hiddleston going undercover to stop terrorism essentially so if you're kind of into 24 it's like a more realistic 24 and i was on the edge of my seat until the last minute of the series it's amazing and if you love tom hiddleston i mean you've just got to watch it i've also been loving the chloe ting workouts i finished the hourglass challenge and now i am on the i think it's the five week booty challenge or something like that I don't know, I'm loving her workouts. I like to tag on one of her arm workouts at the end, but my abs are popping. My booty has grown like an inch and a half in about a month and a half. Um, I've been upping my protein, so that also helps, but I love it. The workouts aren't that long. I feel accomplished doing a program, and I've, I'm actually surprised I finished the last one and I'm working through this one. Like I didn't drop out of it halfway. That's big for me, so shout out to Chloe Ting. Shout out. Uh, another thing I love, I'm gonna insert a picture, it's right over there. I have a Menduka mat that is amazing. I love the color, first of all. It's a beautiful kind of piney green. Um, and I was using a mat that I had bought at Marshalls or TJ Maxx years ago, and it was killing me because I would wear my sneakers and do my workouts, my Chloe Ting workouts, and I would it would start kind of like peeling. Like the, th there were little pieces of the mat everywhere. It was awful, kind of like how a sponge breaks apart. So finally I decided to invest in a Manduka mat um, and they're usually quite expensive. They're not like Lululemon mats which are like 120 or something, but this one I think was 
50. I think I got a little bit of a discount from Dick's because I bought it from Dick's Sporting Goods and it's made for not just yoga, this particular mat, not just yoga but also at home training, you know, if you're doing HIIT, if you're doing strength training, so it has that durability to last through that and um, so that's why I chose that mat and I love it. It's great. I don't slip on it. It has just enough cushioning for my bones and my joints. Love it. Another thing I've been loving recently is teletherapy. Uh, within the past about six weeks, I sought out a therapist over the phone. I found her on um, Psychology Today. Okay, my camera died, so I just ate brunch and came back. Uh, what was I talking about? Oh yes, teletherapy. So I found my therapist on Psychology Today's website. So they have a section for psychiatrists and for therapists. At the beginning of quarantine, obviously, I mean, through most of this, I've been dealing with exacerbated anxiety. I constantly live with generalized anxiety disorder, but it got pretty, pretty gnarly over this lockdown. Since I started teletherapy, uh, I do it about every two weeks now. My therapist is wonderful. She really helps me lock into the logical side of my brain, which helps when you, I can be somebody who um, can tap a lot into the emotional side of their brain and kind of create irrational thoughts and storylines. And she kind of reminds me of like, let's be real, let's look at the facts here. And it really minimizes a lot of my problems that I've been blowing out of proportion. So I found it really helpful. I will always be an advocate for therapy. So highly recommend to everybody. That's been a huge, huge favorite for me. Another favorite during this time has been trying to keep a strict 10.30 p.m. bedtime. It's been a little bit difficult uh, the past week and a half because I have been a little bit more anxious. I had an interaction that made me, that threw me off a little bit. Um, so I'm, I'm working back to getting that solid sleep schedule. But for about a month, I was strict going to bed at 10.30, shutting my eyes, sleep. And I would wake up at like 7.00 and feel well rested and I love waking up early but I don't like waking up early if I feel tired to the point where you know like where I should have slept more not like oh it's the early morning I need to rub my eyes I'm talking about like I should have slept more I don't like feeling that way so that's really the only way that I'm ever going to be able to be someone who wakes up early because I need my several hours of sleep I'm not someone who's cool with running on five hours of sleep. I can't do it, I'm not productive. So going to bed at 10.30 and then naturally waking up at 7, 7.15 is awesome. So I'm working back to getting more strict with that, but that's definitely, I mean, it's made a huge difference with my anxiety as well because if I start my work earlier, uh, I feel like I have more time in the day. I don't feel like I have to rush things. Um, and that helps with my anxiety is just to slowly sink myself into the pool of the real world and not just wake up, get on my phone, check emails and yeah, throw myself into that chaos. It's not good. And the last favorite, I guess, I mean, originally I wrote down Sunday routine, but I really think it's just, I've been focusing on taking the weekends to really, really treat myself. And I don't mean by shopping or anything like that. Um, I have gone to Malibu several times uh, over the past few weekends to spend time by the ocean. I go to the farmer's market pretty much every Sunday unless I don't need things. I take myself on hikes. I kind of changed my mindset because I, for a while I was like, man, if I had a, if I was dating somebody, they would take me here or we could go on a date here and we could order this and eat that and watch this movie and I don't have a date so I guess I can't do that. I mean, of course, if you're in that mindset, you're gonna feel desperate to find a partner because you can't start having fun until you have a partner. Apparently, you can't take yourself for donuts, you can't take yourself to the beach, you can't, you know, take yourself out to a nice dinner until you have a partner. And that is like, you are just putting your life on hold until you have a romantic partner. I don't wanna live like that. So I've changed that mindset and I have some really fun routines on the weekends. Saturday is usually more of an active, day and then Sunday I really let myself veg out and it's just been great. So these are my favorites. It's a little different because a lot of it is sort of mental health and self-care but that's more important than any other object I think. You know vitamins and candles and makeup can only serve you so much if this is not right. You know what I'm saying? It's a whole domino effect. So anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to you in my next one. Mwah! Bye guys.